Greetings Petalheads and welcome to a new chapter of It's a Mod Mod World. One of the races I have enjoyed most in my life as a spectator was the, as far as I know and sadly, only race that the DTM did in Dijon Prenois. That was in 2009. The track impressed me a lot. I liked the whole design of uh, Dijon. I looked in our database and for Assetto Corsa we have a Dijon track with the 2005 layout. I'm gonna drive the Lotus 211 in a GT4 configuration and I've taken it in these wonderful black and gold lotus colors. Let's see how Dijon feels, how it looks and how much fun or not it is to drive on Dijon Renoir. The curves at Dijon are quite tricky. In parts you don't see the apex and others like this here, I mean come on, downslope, curve, Another curve. Tricky. The thousand curves of Dijon Prenoir. The difficulty in a track with so many curves is not the many curves, is that you, of course, want to take the curves as best as you can. And with curves that go into curves that go into curves that go into curves, finding the better combined apex or the apexes is difficult and this here right okay more steep oh, okay the the right doesn't end um like uh well okay uh, so where do i what i'm already on the street uh uh where are you okay in all earnest let's take a look at dijon So, uh, right, you could call it two rights, and with this three rights, small left, again right, careful, down slope, left, you have to memorize where the apex is, because you won't ever be able to see it. You were a giraffe. All right. Where well, this car at least loves to oversteer. And careful because you got a 90 degrees left. And almost other 90 degrees. Small left, followed by a right. Followed by a small straight, and we're near the end, right, no really, right, like right, and we're back at the straight. By the way, one of the problems that uh, the DTM had on Dijon was that especially the Audi cars got enormous tire problems. If I remember correctly, it was the right hind tire that sometimes blew up in the middle of the race. Because Christensen the race, uh, I'm not sure if Ekström got into pits at the right time. If I remember correctly, the other cars did not have those kind of problems. Only the Audis. Something in the standard setup from Audi, I suppose. And I suppose that that is the reason why they've never been at Dijon ever again. Which I think is really a pity. It's not a track for beginners. The different curves, the design of the curves would make a beginner quite dizzy. Not a lot going on in the force feedback department. The bumps, the curbs, 
nothing talks to me especially. What else can I tell you about Dijon Prenois? It's near Dijon, which you hopefully know because it's one of the most excellent mustards there are. It exists since 1972. Oh, small detail, the first one to ever make a time lap around the circuit was Guy Ligier, and you should know Ligier if you follow Formula One, as there was a team called that way. Another funny detail, the circuit of Dijon Prenois held the for now, last Swiss Grand Prix. Yeah, no, I know that Dijon is not in Switzerland. And they know that Dijon is not in Switzerland. And still, you know, in one of the videos I was saying that I like real tracks with gravel and all that. This is one of those. This is one that has ups and downs and whatever. You gotta be a real racer to survive here. I read, I read uh, that uh, until 2000 uh, there were track racing done here. Uh, I, I have to see if I find one of those races because can you imagine track races with these curves? It's gotta be awesome. Pity that they don't race it. In conclusion, Dijon Prenois is a fantastic track. But I knew that already. I hope you have realized that after watching this video. The mod is quite well done. I like the details that they have uh, set up. And it looks very much like Dijon. It doesn't feel 100% like Dijon because the force feedback does not transmit a lot of information. This is not a track for beginners in no way at all. All the curves, the different apexes and all that do not underestimate Dijon. If you want a challenge, get into Dijon. Don't take an easy car and let's see how you survive. Maybe take an open wheeler from the 70s because that's when they raced here. Or take a truck. Ooh, a truck. Oh, mm. I think after I finish this video, I'm going to go take a truck through Dijon. That would be all for today. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed the challenge of Dijon Prenois, please be so kind and applaud by leaving a like. If you want to see more from us and we're publishing two videos a week, subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell. And until the next time, save fuel, take pickup, and we'll see each other on the podium. Now, which track do I want to take? Not the one that was jumping like cows. Visit romrom.net to connect to fellow sim racers and sim racing fans.